In this video, you will see any Stream Deck becoming network enabled by Skyhoist Blue Pill technology. You can easily read button triggers, encode rotations, swipes. You can send images to the displays via simple TCP commands using the raw panel protocol. And you can add your Stream Deck panels to work alongside Skyhoist professional broadcast panels and configure it all with Reactor. Hi there, and thanks for watching this video from Skaho Innovation Lab. My name is Casper, and I'm the CEO, founder, and chief designer of Skaho. I am actually an engineer, and I love coding. I love making hardware and bringing all that out to you guys. So I have also worked on a Stream Deck integration. That means Stream Decks, any Stream Deck you can find on the market will be network enabled by the Blue Pill technology. So what is all this? Well, this is the Blue Pill server. It is a little device that has USB A right here. We usually don't use it because as a server, it does a lot of software stuff with the Skahoy panels meant for broadcast and AV productions, live productions. In the other end, it has an Ethernet jack and it is powered with PoE. So the Ethernet switch is bringing power and signals out to the Blue Pill. Now, quite unusual for what we demo, I will now plug in the Stream Deck Plus. And this is one of the newest panels from Stream Deck, which today is connected to the Blue Pill and will be network enabled. So after this little Skahoy intro animation, you will see for a brief moment that it says it's ready for connections and then something happens. And what happened right there is a script that I have running on my computer connected to it and started to rotate graphics and so on. Just so you can see that we are apparently doing something. But we can do that ourselves. We can send our own graphics over to the panel. So we'll do that later in this video. But at first, I want to show you that I can connect to this with a um, a, a Telnet or Putty or Putty. I'm not sure what it's called or uh, NC, Netcat, uh, on the Mac. So let's just go to my computer here and then type in NC and then the IP address of the blue pill. And I know the server port is going to be this. So actually, I want to offer you a uh, split screen view of these two so that you can see them together. So let's just do that and move this whole thing aside so that uh, you can see that I'm making button presses. So now I'm connected to something. I'll type in list because list is a command that asks the raw panel server on the blue pill right here. Ask it to identify the raw panel that we have, which is the stream deck. And you can see from that information, it seems to be serial number and so on. Now, exciting would be to press these buttons. So as you can see, I'm pressing these buttons. I get messages sent over. Really nice and simple for encoders the same. I can press the encoders and I get some uh, button action on the encoders and I can also touch the uh, various tiles that are above the encoders. I can even swipe forth and back and I'll get small signals that I'm basically swiping on the individual tiles or on the overall tile over there. So that's a lot of details for you guys, but I'm pretty sure you can see what I am doing. Here is another really nice little example where we are playing back video images on the displays on the Stream Deck. So you can do it even inside the buttons, but in this case, I'm doing it on the touch strip on the panel. One of the best ways to explore a raw panel panel, like in this case, the Stream Deck Plus, would be to use the Raw Panel Explorer, which is a software tool you can download from Skyhoist website. And when you do that and run it, then you will see this web UI popping up on your computer and it will scan the network for raw panel devices. It will find in this case the Stream Deck Plus and all you need to do to play with it would be to press the connect button. Now, one of the cool things about raw panel is that it will tell you a lot of information about the device you connect to. For instance, it will tell you the topology of the panel. In this case, it knows how the Stream Deck Plus looks like, and it will be able to render this very nice graphic where you have all the buttons and the display tiles and the encoders and so on. If you scroll down on this page, you'll see more information on each of these components. They are called hardware components, and they have numbers. And you can see what type it is, if they have RGB, LED output. We simulate that on the panels. What is the pixel dimensions of the panel? Is it color? Is it only gray or, or uh, monochrome displays, etc.? We have encoders. We have swipe fields on the display. We have just single display fields where we can place content. And with this application, we can pick any of these elements, like this button, for instance, 
on the Stream Deck, and then we can send over an on instruction. You see what happens when I do that. It will light up white, but I can change the color to something else. And the commands that are being sent over to the panel over TCP are shown down here. So this is the instruction, the color number for blue. And if I picked another one, you'll see that this updates to a different value. So now it is amber, but if I want to, to send blue over, what I would do is to use the terminal that I had just before. And in this terminal, let's just connect to the panel again. Like this. Just identify and then I am going to paste that command in that I just copied, right? And it changes to blue. Let's just check if I press the button. Yes, I will see triggers arriving in my terminal window. Now let's go back to the web browser. So in this case, it really means that I can explore the panel by sending over colors and on and off state. I can also send over text because in these displays, you can place text like this is the title. I can send text line. I can enable a solid header, I can have a second text line, etc. But you see all these things are sent over to the button that I selected. All right, but it's also possible that I send over a color image, a grayscale image or a black and white image, I just do it by that. And you see the full command right here. Those commands are shown in two ways. This is the most basic ASCII version you can have. It's not encoded in JSON or anything. It's just new lines that you send over to the panel. But it's also possible to wrap a command in JSON for panels like this that is oftentimes more convenient for you. And actually, it's also possible to send over purely binary messages using Google Proto buffers, but we won't cover that in this video. I just wanna let, let you know what are the options. They're pretty vast and that's really exciting if you think about it in terms of how many different ways you could make this integration. One of the next things I wanna show you is how you can connect multiple stream decks to your blue pill using a USB hub. And the type of hub you need to get is a charging USB hub because it must have power coming into it. Otherwise we can't drive a lot of stream decks. But if you do that and you plug the stream decks into the hub, they are going to be driven by a single blue pill device. So you see this ton of Stream Deck devices currently connected. And the cool thing is if you look at my computer, you can see the Raw Panel Explorer finds them all. So let's have a little bit of fun here and then see how these are reacting. I'll just share my screen between my camera and the Raw Panel Explorer. So here we have the foot pedal. And if I connect to this one, you'll see, sorry, I connected to the wrong one. Now let's find the pedal. That's the one I connect to this one. You see here is a topology. If I press the button of the pedal, you see the triggers are being announced in the window over here. So that works. Now let's disconnect from this one and connect to the Stream Deck Excel. So we'll just find that down here in the arsenal of things. I can also send like something called full throttle. It's gonna send over just a lot of white to the panel to give it like all we've got. And now I could press these buttons, I could put on the, the colors that we talked about up there in the corner, or I can send over some test graphics. Once again, I'm doing all of this to help you guys getting started developing because these commands are the ones that will help you to get content into the displays. And apart from that, we can then, of course, confirm triggers coming from the buttons as I'm pressing around on the panel. Now we can have the Stream Deck standard original version here. Where is that? It's right there. This one. There we go. I press buttons on this one and triggers are received. What about Stream Deck Mini? It's right here. So as you can see, all these Stream Decks, basic as they are, having just single buttons are of course also connected. The Actually the beef is really with the Stream Deck Plus because that has all these new elements and the raw panel protocol is strong enough to support all of this and that is something we are pretty excited about because that makes it fit pretty well with our ambition in Skahoy to innovate the future of media production control. At the end of this video, let me talk a little bit about the kind of panels that Skahoy are offering. We make panels like these that has a ton of 
different and unique components like joysticks, four-way buttons, encoders, faders, LED bars, etc. with small displays over. And these are super useful for AV and broadcast production. These are also raw panel compliant devices. And you can see as this one is now connected to the network, it's actually popping up alongside all my Stream Deck panels. And I can connect to this in just the same way. We have the same topology, the same description of all the buttons that are on the panel. And as I'm moving the joystick, you can see that I get triggers over and I can also press these and send over a button color and a state to light up buttons in different colors like you can see I'm doing right here and discovering all the commands that I need to work with this panel. So the cool thing about this is that the panels all become one big family now. They can talk raw panel, they can be fused together in applications like Reactor that can configure these to work with all sorts of devices for your media production control. Thanks for watching this video. I suggest that you subscribe to this channel if you find this interesting because I'm going to put out a part two at least on this subject, probably a part three as well and a lot of other content about raw panel.